Hello, everybody. The moment is finally here. You can see my Carney wall display has five spots open there at the bottom. And we are going to fill it up with the latest from Car Culture. It is the 2018 Car Culture set, Japan Historics 2. The moment is finally here. I could not be more excited. Mattel sent this set over. And I'm going to open this up. We did the preview with Mattel last week with Jimmy and Julian to get a sense of the packaging and the models. Now it's time for me to open up this set and get it added to the wall display. I am super excited about this. This, mo this set is going to hit in a big way next month. Walmart's other stores will be getting it. Of course, the hobby dealers, some of you pre-ordered from like A&J. They'll be getting them. They'll be sending those out. Some dealers have already gotten them. Um, but it's going to be available. You'll be able to get your set if you want it. But let's start with this real quickly. You can see Mattel sent this set over. The cards are larger, as we talked about in the preview. That allows for bigger models. That allows for better art. Uh, very, very exciting. And if you are one to keep your uh, models carded and protected, and I'm actually, because the art's so good, I'm actually going to buy myself a second set and keep them protected. Here is the new protector from Sterling. I'll give them a little plug. They are a Lamley partner. They sent over these protectors just to show how perfect the new car culture cards fit in them. Really sturdy protector. Um, it stands up straight, as you can see here, too. And it protects the corners, which I think is great. See that? They don't get smashed because they leave these little gaps. I really like the Sterling protectors. All right. but I th And I think it's worth saying. I know it's a plug, but I'm going to give them a plug. And I think it's worth saying because this art is so nice. And I think people want, uh, want a good product. And it definitely is. And there's a link down below if you want to buy those. All right. We're going to go ahead and open these up. I'm going to get these cards out because we are going to open them. I know this will make Julian, it'll, it'll hurt a little bit, but I promise Julian I'm buying my own set. If there's ever been a set to display on the wall, and maybe I will, it will be this one. Uh, because the art is just tremendous. And I'm looking forward to seeing what you do, Julian, with the larger cards on the upcoming car culture sets. We're going to have... Uh, same amount of assortments, and I, and I, from what I have heard and seen, this is going to be an insane year for car culture. It's going to go next level for sure. All right. See, these protectors are actually pretty easy to open to, which is nice. Um, those off to the side. All right. Should we go in order? We're going to go ahead, and I'm going to put these... Over here, I'm going to move up just a tad, and why not, if we're going to do it this way, why not get the little uh, turntable going before we add them in. All right, model number one of five is the Datsun Bluebird 510. I have said, and I will say, I've said in the blog, lamelygroup.com, that this is the best set they've ever done. Why? Well, you've got a full premium set, which is great. That's a great start. Number two, it's totally understated in terms of deco and color. And it's just, it's it's more showcase than I've ever seen anything. It's just beautiful. It's not just realism. It's just art. Starting with Julian's artwork, which is just incredible with the cherry blossoms, the movement in the artwork, and then the beauty of the card, or of the car. Totally understated. You can see the BRE stripes there, nod to the BRE, and then you've got just these understated stripes. Anyway, it just is beautiful. I even showed it to my wife, who is quite artistically inclined, and she said it was gorgeous herself. She was actually, why are you even going to open it? And I said, well, because you got to open it. All right. So let's open it. I'm trying to go as smooth as I can. Oh, I have a feeling I'm going to drop one of these, you know, just anyway. All right. There we start. With the beautiful Datsun 510. I'll give this a rotation or two because we saw this in the preview that we did with Mattel. And it is absolutely positively gorgeous. Those BRE stripes are so cool. On the back, you see the Gretti logo and JNC. That's Japanese Nostalgic Car. Great shout out to those guys. Um... Just beautiful in silver and the red interior. I'm going to have to rethink all the Datsun 510s. I mean, obviously, you've got um, 
the Vintage Racing number 46 BRE, you've got the RLC number 46, you've got a bunch of 510s, including the BRE, we'll get to that one, you can see that in the background, the number 35, which is coming in the RLC set, um, we'll preview that later, but an absolutely beautiful model, and this may be my favorite one, like I said, this Japan Historics 2 is more art than anything, alright, let's move back, Again, just beautiful art. This is number two. It is the Mazda RX-3. This is the third time we've seen it in car culture. It was in Japan Historics 1. In fact, I probably should have showed off Japan Historics 1 already. This is where it debuted in Japan Historics 1. It was also the first model to debut or to sport the um, four-spoke wheels. What, three other models or two other models in Japan Historics 1 sported them. Now they're really getting the heavy rotation here in with the RX3. Well, not in this one. This is actually the uh, only one that doesn't have the um, the four spokes. It's the first time that it doesn't have it because I think the, this next one, yeah, in yellow, you can see it in the background over there, had the black four spoke wheels. All right. Plain orange. Once again, just a gorgeous model. So far, so good on the opening. This will be a long preview, but it deserves it, I think. Again, JNC and Gretty. All of them will have the JNC and the Gretty logos on it. Front and rear. These will be more expensive. We uh, Jimmy talked about it in the preview we did. And when you think about it, yeah, more deco. Now, there's not a ton of deco on this, but does it ha there's, does there have to be more deco on it? No. Um, but it does get the full tampo treatment. So front, rear, top if it's needed, side if it's needed. So you can see like this one has the window trim. They're highly, highly detailed. It also allows them obviously to make the cards larger, which some of you think, ah, oh, that shouldn't cost too much, but it, you know, it is what it is. The larger cards allow for more models, like bigger models. It also, because their cost is higher because they're able to do, um, they're able to have a higher margin. It means, sorry for the bump. It means that they can do models that maybe they typically couldn't in the past. One that Jimmy cited was the um, Supervan um, because of the metal content and so on and so forth. And it really does come to, down to fractions of pennies. They're going to be able to do other models um, that maybe they couldn't do. So I think we're going to see some really cool premium stuff. All right, this is number three, Nissan Fair Lady Z in a beautiful kind of light yellow. There's Julian's art. Oh, and we'll get to the modification on this model. This is the first time the Fair Lady, the Nissan Fair Lady Z has a new nose or a new base. Obviously, it's the first time it's a pre it's gotten a premium base, um, you know, metal base, but it also has that new nose and that new chin. This is not the Fugu Z casting. We've seen that. It's right there, right? That was in the uh, Cars and Donuts. It is actually this model. This was the uh, Super Treasure Hunt in 2017, and you can notice that it has the, uh, what is it, the G nose, kind of a, you can see the base is different, it has more slanted nose, slanted chin at the, at the, in the front. This one gets the more, gets a different modified look. You can see that with the new base. There, get that color going. Four-spoke wheels. Front and rear tampo. Side tampo as well. I do like the nose on this one better. And the color's great. Okay. Should we get to the new stuff? Yeah. Two new castings. They always do the last. The, they always do the new castings as the as the number as the last model and last model of the set. Usually number five, but since there are two in this one, they will uh, go number four and five. And this one is the Nissan Laurel 2000 SGX. It's famous for its rear, called the Pig's Butt Rear, and that's why Julian featured it in the artwork. And there it is. There. 
All right, let's open this one up. This one was designed by June Amai. Typically, Mark Jones does the um, car culture new models. So I think everyone so far that was a new model. Let's try and get this one open. Um, it's usually Mark Jones. He did the uh, next one, but uh, this one was done by June. June is an expert. I guess so there's a lot of Japanese car experts on the team now. And I think one thing that June really wanted to do with this, and uh, you know, June can speak to it, and I'm sure there are places that he will, is he wanted to give this one that pure Japanese look. Lowered. He used the small four-spoke rims. Those small four-spokes were originally seen on the Fiat 500, if you remember. This one is what I love, just the detail in the headlights and that front grill with the white trim. It's just an insane model. It's gorgeous. And I said this in the preview with Jimmy and Julian, this does not look like a Hot Wheels. The chrome four spokes, all the detail, this is done in the Thailand plant. The color, this is art and I'll continue to say it, these cars are art. It's just a breathtakingly beautiful model. I hope that's not hard hyperbole. It just is. I'm going to go ahead and put that in there too. I mean, this is a... Some of you will say, oh, I like the Japan Historics one better. Here's the last one. Because, you know, it had the, you know, the, the different deco and there was more diversity in the castings. Um... This one is just a showcase. It's just a pure showcase. All right, this is the other new model, Nissan Skyline C210, number five of five, designed by Mark Jones, who designed all the other new models, the Subaru, the BMW, the BMW, they're the Mercedes Evo. Anything that's been new in car culture has been, was designed by, uh, by Mark, including this one. Skyline C210. We're seeing a lot of new Skylines. We've seen the R33. We've seen the R30. Um, we're going to see the Hakoska wagon coming up soon um, in car culture. I don't know who designed that one, but there's a lot of Skylines coming out this year. This one, well, I thought it would be all about the Laurel for me. This one surprised me. Just how beautiful it is. I mean, the casting in purple, perfect color. You can see all the details on the side. You can see that Skyline on the rear. But, and then the, the rear and front are just amazing. See that skyline above the license plate right there? But check out the chrome steering wheel. Check out the tan interior. Again, lowered look, small four-spoke wheels. So it has a very Japanese look, but it should because it's a very Japanese car. And it is the Japan Historics. It's an absolute stunner. I'm just happy I didn't drop any of this time. Truly, truly, congrats, Hot Wheels. This is one of the best sets you've ever done. Again, it's a showcase. It just is different than what Hot Wheels has done before. These cars are gorgeous. They look beautiful as a set. I'm going to move over here so you can see, and I'll pop back so I can put this final set in. I am just thrilled to have these. All right. You want to go look real quickly at uh, this is the Japan Historics 1. This one is more Hot Wheels. It's... It's great. It's what Hot Wheels has always done. They pick some castings. They go premium. They put these amazing real riders on it. It definitely has a theme. This is obviously a Japanese police car with the Ken Mary Skyline. Then an homage to a Toyota 2000 GT racing livery in yellow and green. Which is also gorgeous. I mean, I love this set. And obviously, this is what just shot car culture into the stratosphere. Then we had the Greddy and Advan Datsun 510 wagon. 510 wagon is always popular. And the wheels on this one with the red-lipped four spokes is just gorgeous. Hakoska Skyline. Also in a signature racing livery.
And last, the debut of the RX-3, also in a racing livery and in that beautiful purple. These were great. And on their own, they're great. But Japan Historics 2 is just something altogether different. Best set Hot Wheels has ever done. All right, guys. My display is up to date. We have some, obviously, you can see some models there that I will showcase later as they get closer to the release. For now, there it is, the Japan Historics 2 coming soon. Make sure you have your set pre-ordered. Go find it at Walmart. However else, you will be able to get it. I promise. But it will be popular. All right, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye.